Developing news now, a tense night in South L.A. after a deadly officer-involved shooting. Good evening, everybody. I'm Elsa Ramon. And I'm Peter Dow. We are learning more tonight about a suspect who police say had a gun, but there are conflicting reports. It happened on Western and 107th this afternoon after a car chase. KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen is live in South L.A. where he spoke with witnesses. Jeff. Well, emotions have been running high, Peter and Elsa, but things have been very peaceful. Let me show you what's behind me. Police officers are here. They have their protective gear on, such as their helmets. They have a very strong presence out here. As we pan our camera to the left, you can see at the intersection of 108th and Western, completely sealed off for the last two hours because demonstrators have taken over this intersection. They have written slogans on the ground, but in the last hour or so, the crowd here has started to thin out. Please just let me see my baby. If that's my baby, please let me see him. Monique Morgan and her family believe her son, 18-year-old Carnell Snow, also known as CJ, was shot and killed following an LAPD chase. The deadly use of force fueled anger in the Westmont neighborhood near 107th and Southwestern Avenue, where demonstrators blocked traffic at this intersection. Protesters organized on social media after witnesses said Snell ran into a backyard to get away from officers. He ran straight through our yard. He was running with his hands up saying he don't he don't have a gun. He, don't, he doesn't have a gun. Police say it all started with a car that had paper plates. Officers tailed it because they believed it was stolen. After a short chase, the LAPD says Snell bailed out of the car. The police shot him standing in the street where we can see him five times. Boom, 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 five times. Neighbors say Snell lived in the area and that he recently got out of jail. But they say they didn't believe he was a threat. Please don't shoot the kid. As soon as I said that, that's when he did it. Police say they found a handgun at the shooting scene. But Snell's mother says she isn't willing to accept that. Said the police shot him five times in the back. And you can see some of the candles that demonstrators have lit here. In addition to that, they are putting up some banners that they made earlier in the night, challenging the use of force here. Now, it will be up to the coroner's office to figure out where Carnell Snell was shot. In the meantime, the LAPD tells us that the car involved in today's chase is missing, along with its driver and another passenger. Peter and Elsa, let's send it back to you.